Hello, welcome to the data channel and uh, you're watching a bootcamp for uh, data professional series and as part of this uh, video that is a uh, topic 12 so we'll be discussing about uh, the different IDEs that you will use for Python development and which ID uh, is best for uh, you and uh, in your use case uh, whichever use case you might be working so you need to carefully choose which ID you to use right and uh, Python when you are doing Python development the most uh, frequently used or most uh, uh, popular uh, IDEs are uh, VS Code, Jupyter, PyCharm, Spider and uh, we have already explained uh, so how to install all of these uh, IDEs, all four IDEs uh, in the previous uh, videos in this playlist. We would recommend you to please go and check the playlist or else we will we have uh, links in the description. You can go in the links in the description and also uh, check how to install all of these IDEs. Right and uh, before proceeding if you are new to this channel we would recommend you to please subscribe and also press bell button for instant notifications. So let's get started. So firstly, let's understand uh, Visual Studio Code, right? And uh, when it will be, uh, what is the advantages of using it? Like what are the features of it? So Visual Studio Code, uh, first of all, it's developed by Microsoft and uh, it is lightweight and fast. So why do we call it as lightweight? Because uh, compared to other um, like uh, Anaconda and other packages that we install, right? Uh, Anaconda Jupyter packages. So, so this is uh, in terms of uh, space and memory, it consumes very less. And uh, so if you are having a very average uh, or decent RAM or a machine, uh, so it is always better to use VS Code, which will run very smoothly. and uh, and also it has a vast variety of uh, libraries and extensions so you can have a lot of themes uh, linters and more and it also have the integrated terminal right that means uh, like built-in terminals for running shell commands uh, and also it does have a version control like uh, you can have a built-in git integration and uh, uh, you can uh, do a source control management using that uh, git and uh, it also have a uh, configurable with custom key binding and settings and also it supports the Jupyter Notebook extension as well and uh, it also has a highly cu customizable and it is good for debugging uh, like it, it does uh, integrated debugger for various languages including Python and uh, highly configurable with custom key binding settings and snippets right so because of that features uh, so VS Code is more, more preferable and uh, when to use VS Code Right, so VS Code can be used for any general development where uh, VS Code is uh, because VS Code is versatile and suitable for uh, general purpose development. So it is not, um, uh, it is good in uh, many things. So that's why we call it in general purpose development. Uh, and it is also more customizable if you prefer a highly customizable environment. Uh, VS Code extension, uh, extensive uh, extension libraries uh, that uh, allows you to kind of uh, expand the power of visual code by uh, visual code by installing lot of uh, a, a libraries evolving libraries and uh, you like that will help you uh, like tailor the id needs for you accordingly right and you can customize a uh, lot of things so that control that vs code gives along with the extensions and uh, you can also have a uh, it's built in git uh, supports and integration with uh, various version control uh, makes it a great uh, uh, for uh, team projects so that's why you can uh, use it for collaborative projects uh, and uh, as a developer who prefers uh, a fast and lightweight uh, ide without sacrificing the functionality so definitely you can uh, go for vs code so these are the uh, these are the cases you need to go for vs code right and now let's go for jupyter so jupyter is developed by a community it's a community driven uh, again and uh, its features are like interactive notebook uh, when it combines the live code equations visualization and uh, narrative kind of texts and uh, it also provides the great data visualization it provides seamless integration with the data visualization libraries like matplotlib and uh, plotly etc right and uh, it also has a language support uh, like it supports many languages via kernels uh, especially python in this case Extens, extens, extensibility, extend functionality with Jupyter extension and widgets. So that is why uh, it is called as a, it is more extendable in terms of uh, including widgets and other things. And uh, sharing, it can be easily shared, uh, then easily notebook can be shared via HTML, PDF or uh, Jupyter Hub. 
so because of these features uh, jupiter is uh, kind of a uh, um, gives you more uh, uh, more features i mean if these features are like uh, required for your use cases so then you can choose jupiter and uh, also if you want to see when to use right so jupiter you can use it when there is a use case of data analysis and visualization where jupiter is a uh, notebook is perfect for data exploration analysis and creative creating visualizations and also when you have a uh, it is ideal for a rapid prototyping and testing code snippets and also when you compare visual code visual code and jupiter notebook and if you are using it for educational purpose uh, jupiter is more uh, good for uh, preferred for educational purpose because it is widely used in academic settings uh, for teach for teaching and uh, learning labs uh, due to its interactive nature because you can create a lot of cells uh, and uh, it is more interactive uh, for the learning from the learning perspective and also if you have it's great for uh, sharing uh, sharing analysis and results with others in a readable and interactive format and uh, when it comes to PyCharm, so PyCharm uh, is also uh, has a features like uh, it is de de definitely developed by JetBrains and it has a features like uh, as we can see the it's code editor right intelligent code editor with code compilation and navigation built in support for testing debugging and profiling and uh, it also gives uh, it's good in debugging powerful debugging capabilities are there including breakpoints watches and variable inspections and uh, in terms of testing it has a built-in support for running tests with popular framework like like uh, unit test pi test doc test etc and uh, if you are doing a web development so even in that case you can integration with the django flask and other frameworks are uh, very seamless here and it also has a database tools like uh, SQL support, database browser and query exe executions. And uh, in case of like, suppose if you want to do a code refactoring and it is uh, in that case, it is safe and uh, intelligent uh, refactoring tools are available here. And uh, so like similar to uh, VS Code, it also has uh, plugins for extended functionalities. You can use it, uh, use this plugin plugins and when to use PyCharm, right? Uh, so when the when there are like large project where PyCharm is ideal for uh, large scale projects uh, due to its uh, robust features for code management, debugging, and testing, and also when you are doing a web development uh, with uh, built-in support for Django and other uh, web frameworks, PyCharm is uh, excellent for web development. And uh, professional development uh, also you can use it for uh, comp its PyCharm is a comprehensive set of tools uh, is suitable for uh, professional uh, developers who need. Uh, powerful and integrated environment okay and now let's move to the spider uh, which is the last id we want to discuss and it is also developed by community it's a community driven and this when you hear spider right just keep in mind it is used for uh, most of a scientific uh, kind of a development uh, so it is not used for a uh, regular it scenarios right um, and uh, the what are the features uh, it is integrated with ipyth i Python console. It is integrated with Python for interactive computing, right? And uh, it also inspect and interact with the variables in your workspace. Uh, so that will give you more uh, like a visualization of what's going in the background, and you can debug the code very easily. And uh, it also gives you uh, like a debugging tools, right? And uh, basic debugging tools with break breakpoints and variable inspection you can do and also it has a uh, integrated uh, documentation viewer for easy reference and uh, this is majorly designed for uh, data science this is very important point right whenever uh, pi spider is mostly used in this cases right this is a this is the best case you can consider whenever you want to use pi spider so you need to think whether you have a data science or scientific computing use cases maybe like a, uh, like biotechnology where you have a genome sequencing DNA analysis or some pharmacy related data so you want to do some scientific uh, computing so in that cases you can use that uh, spider uh, like as a ID so when to use it so as we mentioned data science and scientific computing and interactive workflows right that is also uh, one of the so because why we say interactive workflows is with its integration, IPython console and variable explorer spy, uh, spider is uh, 
uh, excellent for interactive data exploration and also it is good for educational purpose because it's easy to use for uh, teaching and le learning python uh, for scientific applications right with all of this um, benefits uh, and the, the comparison you can quickly compare all of this right and uh, we can summarize this and you can choose what is suitable for you so if you consider visual studio code it is best in case of uh, general development customization and collaboration and what are the strengths it's light to it uh, highly customizable because it's a last large uh, extensive uh, libraries and there is a limitation also uh, it requires configuration to reach uh, full id capability some configurations is required and uh, as a beginner it might you might struggle a little bit and coming to jupyter notebook uh, it is used for data analysis visualization prototyping and also for educational purpose and what are the strengths is like it is interactive uh, compared to visual studio code and other ides and it's excellent for uh, data exploration so limitations are uh, it's not uh, used for in general uh, software development it is having a limited debugging features so if you want to have a good debugging feature uh, so then jupyter is not your uh, it should not be your choice because uh, it doesn't have a very good debugging capabilities like other ides okay and pycharm when you need to use this uh, you need to use when you have a large project developments professional development and web development especially pycharm is used for web development right and uh, strength is like it's comprehensive feature robust debugging and testing tools testing and debugging tools basically right and that makes uh, pycharm is more powerful uh, in terms of uh, interactive development and uh, that cases so limitations are like resource intensive and uh, it's a uh, other thing is it is having a professional edition also where you where there is a, some cost associated with that if you want to use a professional or enterprise edition of it and the last one is spider so it is it is uh, used mostly in a very specific use cases right so this is very specific so if you want to see which is generic so visual studio is very generic right but spider is very specific uh, into the case of like uh, only for in case of scientific computing interactive wor workflows and uh, it is basically tailored or it is basically designed for scientific computing and integrated development explorations uh, limitations definitely less suitable for generic development right and limited web development features so if you want uh, like now you you might be knowing which is suitable for you right suppose you have a web development case use case scenario where, where you can directly go and use pycharm suppose you have a scientific applications or like machine learning uh, or data science use cases you can go for spider suppose you you don't know what to use right and you want to have a generic uh, kind of a id so then visual studio is always there so which is used for general purpose it is not limited for any particular use case so you can definitely go for visual studio right and uh, jupyter notebook like uh, i would recommend if you are a beginner and if you are practicing right so then you can go for jupyter notebook and uh, it is very good for uh, educational purpose and uh, learning and visualization so you can learn quickly using jupyter notebook uh, so then you can go for jupyter notebook right and yeah just compare this and you can uh, you can conclude which is best for you so there is no one best uh, uh, ide but uh, if you ask me enterprise wide which is the most commonly used or uh, uh, rigorously used uh, ide then definitely visual studio is the answer for it because of its large variety of customization and uh, it gives a lot of extensions to use uh, right which will which is kind of a help developers to uh, support uh, it supports the developers to develop uh, the things much quicker and uh, in a convenient way right and uh, hope this was uh, whatever we have explained and whatever we have compared uh, uh, between these ideas uh, was useful and if it is useful i recommend you to please uh, share it with your friends and colleagues and subscribe for this channel and uh, thanks for watching